This is Pilot Joe, a 250-acre timber sale, the first of three such projects, and if successful, could expand to more. Here, the idea is to preserve the, the genuine old-growth pine, fir, and hardwood. It's all part of what they say is for fire prevention and tree health. It's people are working, and they have jobs, and timber is being produced for the mills. At the same time, as uh, was outlined here, there's a, a landscape ecological restoration <coughs> program that's underway, so the landscape is being managed. While Secretary Salazar is a believer, so is this logger, who's happy to have work. This is a pilot project. I like a challenge. I'm only cautiously optimistic because something has to be done somehow to deal with the litigation and get forest management out of the courts. Following a tour of the Middle Applegate pilot project, a public meeting was held at the Bureau of Land Management District Headquarters where the secretary was met with opposition. The government is by the consent of the people. The people are beginning to withdraw their consent. Rough and Ready says it's not enough to sustain jobs. We say it's successful, but there's not an economic analysis that shows success. And for others, they're concerned about starting logging again strays from the present jobs into the future of forests. What does the new vision as it scales up mean for the future kids that want to have some of the same ecosystem benefits that these forests are providing us. While the secretary took comments from the public, the work on the pilot projects, cutting trees, has begun in the Applegate. Projects which began in December and have already been declared a success by Salazar and the Department of the Interior. Two more are planned in Coos and Douglas counties. Travis Cook, NBC5 News.